Hello everyone, my name is David Frost. This is attempt number three to record this video because I'm a horrible public speaker. So, with that said, the goal here is to bring to light some of the new changes that Facebook rolled out for their business pages that really puts a lot more power in the business owner's hands as far as running their business on Facebook. Uh, or at least social media marketing anyway, as far as engaging with potential clients and whatnot. Uh, some of the things we're going to go over are inviting users that you're not friends with currently on Facebook, uh, messaging users that uh, haven't messaged you first, and commenting on posts that uh, are not on your business page but you're commenting as your business page. I'll show you how that works. So first of all, here's my business page. Uh, David Frost Cruise One. Uh, I'm a travel agent, so hence the theme of the picture that you're about to see. Uh, you can see I currently have 2,528 likes, 32 of which were this week alone, which is pretty much unheard of unless you're promoting your page to get likes. Uh, in this case, all 32 of those are quote-unquote organic. I say quote-unquote because for the purpose of this, or for this video, I boosted this post for $5 for 24 hours. Uh, just a small investment so that I could have some substance to show you guys how all this works. So you can see that it reached 2,288 people. Of those, 586 were organic, 1,702 were paid. I had 378 likes, 12 shares, and some comments, like nine comments. Uh, in this case, uh, the type of engagement wasn't super important. Uh, you always end up with more likes on a post than you do anything else for the most part. So I wasn't too concerned about that. Um, but to jump right into it, inviting users that don't currently like your page. I actually just went through and did this on the first attempt at the video, so there aren't any that I can currently invite. I can probably scroll to another post. But when you're looking at your page and you see the list of people that like, your, that like this post, you click on it, it brings up a box that shows everybody that liked your post. The people that you're actually friends with on Facebook are going to be at the top. And then below that is going to be a list of everybody who liked the post in order of when they liked it. Now on the right here, you see this little button that says invited. That means that I have invited them to like my page. And I did that with all of them. And then you can see liked. Uh, so it tells you if they liked your page already. And then the people who don't have anything next to their name, uh, their privacy settings basically just don't allow it. Um, let me find some likes that I can still invite so I can show you what it looks like. See, you don't have to you don't have to boost your post in order to get enough people to do this with. If you have had a page for a while, uh, it just any any post that has engagement you can go back and click on the likes and then turn around and invite those people to like your page. All right, so here we go. We got this person can't be invited. These two were already invited. This one hasn't been invited. So I click invite, and just like that, they get a notification that says, hey, you should go like David Frost Cruise 1. He's an awesome dude. So you go through and you can invite everybody, blah, 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 blah. Um, quick side note before I move on. I did want to include this in the video. If you're having an issue with somebody on your page, maybe they're a uh, competitor who's coming to your page trying to steal customers or badmouth you, whatever reason you want to get them off your page, you just click on that and click ban from page and then they're banned from the page, they can't get onto it, they can't see anybody on it, nothing. So I just wanted to throw that in there real quick. Um, 
So as far as the inviting people that haven't currently liked your page, I just want to show you the impact that it's had for me. And I've only been doing it for about uh, 24 hours or so, maybe maybe just a few hours longer. So here is my business page net likes uh, on a day-to-day -day basis up until today. So you can see that every once in a while I get a like, maybe I boosted a post and I pick up a like, uh, pick up two, lose one, lose two, whatever. Yesterday I got eight likes, organic. I quote unquote organic, whatever. Uh, I boosted the post, but they liked my page organically. Today I had 22. And that was just for me uh, inviting every single person on there. But here's the interesting thing. When you go to your sorry, when you go to your notifications, I found that when you invite people, they actually go through and whether they accept the invitation to like your page or not, they go through and they engage with older posts that you have made. So like this post of uh, advertising destination weddings I made back in January, January 6th. And this guy went back all the way uh, to January 6th and liked the post. In fact, he liked probably 14 of them. <laughs> Um, but you can see, I mean, this is all just today. Well, yesterday, I guess now because it's 12.39 a.m., but this is all just today. That's all the engagement from a $5 boost and then me inviting all those people to like the page. This is what it's like on a normal day. Saturday, February 26th, I got two, two there, two there, three there. You know, it wasn't very uh, exciting. You know, the, the National Umbrella Drink Day got me a little bit of engagement, but it wasn't anything wasn't anything crazy. No. Well, I just invited our uh, awesome manager, senior vice president. Um, let's see, what else did I want to go over? Oh. Okay, so the inviting users aside, because I think I beat a dead horse on that one. Another thing that they added, though this wasn't super recent, but uh, you now have the ability to message people. You can initiate a message instead of waiting for somebody to send you a message. So if you're commenting with somebody and they show an interest in, for example, me, they show an interest in booking the cruise, I don't have to say, hey, well, send me a message and we can talk about it in private. I can take the initiative, send them a message. That way they're more likely to talk to me. Whereas uh, if they have to put in the work, they may or may not, you know, send the message. Uh, another thing that I like is now you can comment, like, or share on posts that people shared from your page. Obviously, their privacy settings have to let you. But... That wasn't something that you could do before. So if somebody shares, and in my case again, uh, they say, hey, yeah, we should go on this awesome trip to Jamaica, and then they start getting a bunch of comments saying, hey, yeah, let's go. Let's set up a family trip or something. I can then jump in and comment and say, hey, guys, you should totally go on that trip. Let me, you know, let me get some research done for you. So... Yes, I think that's about it. Uh, to recap, basically this will work with any business on Facebook. Uh, it doesn't have to be a travel agency. It can be a restaurant. It can be uh, a bowling alley, phone company, anything really. Uh, so you know how to invite users. You know how to ban users, message users who've commented on your posts, and how to comment on posts that were shared from your page. Um, I don't think there's anything else for me to cover right now, so I'll leave it at that. I uh, appreciate you watching. Apologize for the horrible sound. Can't get my microphones to work. And, yeah, that'd be it. Thank you guys for watching.
have a great night and week and life.